see, this is connected with a, a, an air tube. And if I take out this, you see a small O-ring at the end. So this is a piston and you have a pump. Now these pumps, they are connected with the wings. The wings move in the wind and they pump air into soda bottles to high pressure. And you can use this pressure in case that the wind falls away on the beach. They still have a little bit of energy in their what they call wind stomach uh, to move. For instance, if you connect a bottle with this tube, then this jumps out from the pressure. So imagine that you're a valve have, you have a valve here which opens and this jumps out. You have a sort of muscle. A muscle is nothing but an object which becomes longer or shorter on commands. And the command is given by the valve. If it opens, this becomes longer. Now, the, nail, the valve you could see as a nerve cell. And I have a nerve cell here. If I take up the upper part and I blow air in here, the air goes in here and comes out of here. So this is a connection. But if I push in this piston here, it's blocked. So this is nothing but a valve. Open, close. Now the valve is operated by a sort of small muscle. So if I blow air in here, it blocks here, so no air comes out of here. So if you see this as the output, and this is the input, the output is opposite from the input. Now I know when you use words like output and input, people tend to turn their back to me. I will be very clear for you. If you see this as a person, and this is the mouth, and this is the ear, the mouth says the opposite from what it hears. So if it hears there's air, the mouth says, no, there's no air. And that's why I call this a liar. It's a person who says the opposite from what it hears. Now, imagine that you are a liar and Stephen, who is standing here behind the camera, is a liar. I do. And I'm a liar. And, for instance, I say to Stephen, yes. What would you say? Uh, no. So you hear no, and what would you say? Yes. So I hear yes, and I say no. Now, in this small conversation of liars, I changed my opinion. I started off with yes, and they ended up with no. And that's what you have with an uneven number of liars. So you have a so-called dynamic system, which changes all the time. Now, I have three liars here. So this is you, this is Stephen, and this is... It's me. Uh, let's see what these liars have to say to each other. They're saying yes and no, just like we did. And as you know, you can see a yes as a one and a no as a zero. You can switch zeros and ones with these liars just like in a computer. So what you see here is the beginning of the brain of the strand beasts. And brains turn out to be a very good weapon in evolution. So with the brains, they will survive a lot better on the beach.